Hello and welcome to the Chloe podcast. No, get out. This is the Skit Twins podcast. Okay. Hello. Judas is getting a drink and I was like, oh, I'm going to start without her. And then she came back. You would never last without me, just like I would never last without you. We're a comedy act. Double act. Double act. That's, that's what I meant. That's yeah. thing. Hello and welcome to another Skit Twins podcast. Again, we haven't got a proper mic, so we're just using the laptop mic again. Whoop, whoop. Because I think... Whenever I listen back to it, I think this worked better because the other mic kept cutting in and out. Yeah, but this, you can hear the fuzzing in the background a wee bit. True. Which sucks, but just get over it for a while. <laughs> we'll get sorted eventually. Yeah. We didn't do a podcast last week because we were at triathlon training and we had to get up at like half six in the morning and we got back at like lunchtime. We had lunch and then basically went to sleep and then woke up for more food and then went to sleep again. It was um, great. It was... I was exhausted. <laughs> I think I was also kind of terrified because we got told last week that our first triathlon, well, our first para triathlon, it's still our first triathlon, is in five weeks' time, now four weeks, um, up in Belfast, a Titanic. You're yawning and you're going to make it's me making yawn. Me, it's making me tired just thinking about having to do a triathlon. So yeah, we're, we're trying to get a guide, so let's just plug it here. If you like can to you swim, swim, can you, you cycle, cycle, and can, can you run? run? If you just said yes to all three of those, or at least two out of three, then contact us, please. Yeah. Oh, if you're in Northern Ireland too, or if you're willing to migrate to Northern Ireland Yeah. for the next four or five weeks, that would be really handy. Thank yeah. you very Thank much. Thank you for that. Um, you may not have to be that good. I'm not that good. So Yeah, like my swim time is like about 20 minutes, so you know. So it's 750 metres swimming, 20k, 20K cycle, and... Okay, right. No, why would you do that? My laptop just did it just press enter it's fine did you click yes to that i don't know what i clicked i just pressed a button okay if you click yes the whole laptop's gonna shut down now but it's not gonna shut down okay just be positive you're making more this is why things. you should have turned off notifications <laughs> we'll use your laptop next time okay that's fine i will do that look what you've done okay we're, we're sorted now it's fine it's all good everything is okay Chloe's stolen control of my laptop, it's all good. I'm on the right hand side, so I have control of the mouse. If, if it was me, you would have elbowed me out of the way and, and you would have done it yourself. I'm very trusting. Yeah, I'm no, but trusting. it was just a notification. But Yeah, I know, but you still would have done it. But that's because you always panic. I wouldn't have. I would have been like, oh, what's this? And you would have been like, move! No, because you would have panicked and you would have been like, what do I do? No, I wouldn't. I know technology. You're just being mean to me. How come I have to do everything then? Anyway, let's not fight on the podcast. <laughs> We've already fought on the podcast. Um, so I think the title of this one's going to be Fart and Run. Yeah. Yeah, that's just because that. that's what you should do, really, in any kind of situation you know, where you have to do that. Just just do it. And someone suggested it. Yeah, so we're just sort of rolling with it. And it's sound advice, I think, for any situation too. Yeah. If the conversation is awkward, just fart and run. Well, I mean, if... If if you want to get out of a conversation, then yeah. Or if you don't want to talk to that person ever again, then yeah, fart and run. Or if you just accidentally let one slip in a crowd, just leave very discreet. Or is that how the Irish exit, Irish goodbye, that thing? I don't is. think the Irish goodbye actually is a thing because whenever you say goodbye, to it's anyone, not. It shouldn't be an Irish goodbye. It should definitely be like an English goodbye because an Irish goodbye is whenever you're like right, bye, bye. Bye. No, an Irish goodbye is whenever you get up to leave and you're still there half an hour later and then you go, right, no, but I really have to go now. And then you and spend then, the next half hour with your hand on the door handle. Yeah, and like saying goodbye to people and the, the, the owner of the house or whatever is, is and standing and shaking your, the car. They shake your hand and then you're standing holding their hand for an awkwardly long time and then you start to make your way to the car but you're still talking to them and then you sort of have your hand on your car door handle for like No, you have minutes. to have the car keys out for a bit and you're standing outside the car unless it's raining, in which case you're just standing at the door. Yeah. And then that's you, that's an Irish goodbye. Like maybe that's, that's just a Northern Irish goodbye. Maybe we're generalising too much. Maybe I don't know. Whatever. Tweet us at skit under slash twins at skit underscore twins if you're not Chloe, and let us know how you say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Use the hashtag I say goodbye bye. <laughs> goodbye bye. Um, but no, um, I think on the phone as well. We would always go, right, bye, 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 yep, bye, 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 Even as you, like, press hang up, you still say bye for a wee second afterwards just to make sure in case they can still hear you. You don't want to seem rude. Like, like if you hang up before at least the third, like, before the third goodbye. Yeah, you're clearly in a bad mood. Yeah. Or you don't like them. 
Because I think, or even if you don't even say bye, some people just go right. And then, Boom. Yeah, that's whenever you, that's that's what you do if you're cross at them. That's whenever if... husbands do to go get flyers. <laughs> <laughs> the wife is just right. The end. I don't know. I always have to say bye lots of times because otherwise, mommy or daddy's like, "You in a bad mood earlier?" It's like, no, I just, I was just like busy, and it's like you didn't say goodbye. It's like, oh right, okay, sorry. Um, or no, it's not even that. It's just, oh, it's just the way you hung up the phone. It's like, yeah. Sorry. Spe- seeing as we're speaking about Northern Ireland, Ireland and stuff like that, will we do the Northern Irish Word of the Week? Yeah, go for it. So this week it's going to be, well, and I chose this because you can literally use it, you can have a whole conversation with the word well. Um, it's it's really good, actually. You sort of go up to someone and you sort of go, well, well, hi, well, 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 oh, well, 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 and then, leave. and then that's it, and it's just... It's one I mean, of those all writers. There's sort of you you throw words in, but like it's the different tones mean different yeah. things. So you go well, and that's hello, and there's well, it's sort of like oh, you know what can you do? You know yourself. Or... yourself. Mm. Well, and that's just oh, it's oh, great, no. good, good job. There's, well, and that's I have to go now here. Yeah, it works. It's good. So that's all right. So it's good. Get out and give that a go. Again, if you use it, give us a do it. <laughs> We just want to feel loved. <laughs> we actually felt a lot of love this week because uh, we did our first live show. Oh, that was a nice segue there. But yeah, very good. Tell me about it. Um, uh, so this speaking week, of segues, <laughs> there were segues there too. So I always hit things and I always listen back to it and I just hear a big bang in the middle also, and that's when you slap the table or like I'm petting the laptop or something. I, I, when have I ever done that before? <laughs> You're petting the laptop there. No, I did it there now, yeah, but I, like you can't hear or me clicking pet. a pen. You can't hear me petting it. I literally clicked that pen twice. Why are you so argumentative today? I'm not. I'm you saying, really are. I'm just saying, you're the one that always like pure. I really. And sh- you shouted into the microphone sh- one episode and I nearly cried. I nearly cried at that point too. I'm never going to shout again. Maybe I should just give up podcasts. And yeah, well, I did say at the start this is the Chloe podcast. Bye. <laughs> I'm anyway. This week we went to the jungle with the art Judith, you can come back now. We went to the jungle, which is in the middle of Northern Ireland. Uh, it's a high ropes, absorbing. It's an activity centre. That, an outdoor, outdoor activity, activity centre. Center. Uh, so we went there with the RNIB uh, because they were celebrating the end of the Realize Project. Which had been running since 2013. Uh, it was a project for visually impaired young people. So I think, I think it was under 25s. I think uh, I could be wrong about that, uh, but it was just about giving them confidence and I skills so they could work in like normal situations, so like technology training and general training. Sort of a bit about independence as well, because I suppose a lot of people with visual impairments would feel that they depend a lot on people. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, you always feel like your parents would be like having to drive you places and stuff. You always feel a wee bit that you're always relying on people but it lets you sort of go to like the share centre on different residentials or whatever and you get to be away from your parents for a while which yeah. is like I mean I know we did it whenever we were like over 18 or whatever but I suppose for like younger people who've never really had that opportunity yeah I mean I suppose in a way like on Wednesday we were hearing how people got on and I felt really sort of like lucky that mum and dad treated us like yeah normal. they never really made much of a fuss they never really like us. oh yeah you know you can go to normal school ah oh, just just stay with it just go go away to london by yourself bye <laughs> that makes them sound like terrible there no they're great no they're great because like, it, it taught great. us independence it taught us like that we can do things and yeah it was, it was great but also like that's what the realized project was doing to others who maybe Didn't parents that. parents weren't but i think it was confident about it it also helped the parents sort of realize that oh my kids are capable of doing this that, and the other. Said, yeah um, whereas I kind of always thought that they would struggle or whatever. And it's also, I think one of the main things was meeting other young people who had the same kind of eyesight as you. So you knew that you weren't like the only one. Because a lot of the time, like at school and stuff, um, like you would, f- like no one would really understand you. Yeah, yeah except for you. Yeah. Well, it's rattling. these. That was probably one of the things. The drawer handle. Um, I could just hear it in the background. It was like, is that you petting the side of it? No, it was you. I thought it was you poking the blind there, but it wasn't. But anyway, um, yeah, so it, gets, it lets you meet other young people with the same eyesight as you, which was really handy. And you anyway, it's over now. I was um, going to say you could make all the blind jokes and stuff. Okay, yeah. Um, blind jokes good. are good. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's finished now. Um, unfortunately, hopefully they get something else running for it. 
Like, I know we're too old for it, but, I mean, we loved it. Um, but it's only 25, so we've still got another two years. I know, but they're not running anything now. <laughs> we have to get the font and stuff. But anyway, it was it was really good. And that's actually where we got the fart and rum idea. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, we had to host it. We were hosting it, uh, which was exciting. It was something that we've we've never done it before, really. And we got to do a live skit. So if you look at the skit we put up on Wednesday, I can't remember the date. Cause it's the VI it. Files. New glasses. New glasses. So we did that live. Unfortunately, we didn't get it filmed, yeah. which is something we really should have tried to organise, but oh well. Because then you would have got all the laughs and the right points, and I think it would look cool. But sure, yeah, maybe there'll be other opportunities. Yeah, for maybe, that. We'll, maybe we'll get asked back by the RNIB to do something. Intent. Maybe on a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Well, if we get paid though. Uh, but uh, it was it was really really good to get to do that. We bit of like presenting sort of on stage and doing the skit and stuff because we got a lot of positive feedback. You know, everyone thought that we were funny, and that sounds really big headed. But like, it's nice to sort of. I think we're kind of insecure about doing things like podcasts and stuff like I feel like I constantly need validation yeah like was that okay could you hear it was it okay was, was it did you understand it I'm constantly apologizing about it I'm like I'm really sorry the sound quality isn't great and we maybe talk too quickly and it's a pile of nonsense and you don't really have to listen to it if you don't want to it's yeah fine. But but, like it's not because we want attention it's because we're worried that people are giving us attention just for the sake of it like we want <laughs> like we, want, we want attention but we want it for the right reasons we don't want pity <laughs> And we don't want it just to be like family and friends just because they feel they have to. So you know, if you are family or friends and you're just listening to this because it's like, oh, they put one out, I have to listen to it. Just switch off if you don't like it. We're not going to take offence. It's not your cup of tea or coffee or juice, whatever you're drinking. Can I have one too? Um, but I just got distracted. I'm sorry. I'm just going to... Failed as yours, Judith. I... I was going to say two things and you interrupted me twice and I've forgotten both of them. You interrupted me, to be fair, when um, I was in the middle of a sentence. So. It was it was good to be able to do it because we got lots of positive feedback and I was going to say something after that. Um, oh yeah, it was it was just good to know that like people didn't have to say you did really well, but they did. They came up and they said, oh, you were really funny. And it was like, oh, great, thanks, that's cool. And like they didn't... like. Oh, I can't do words. <laughs> you just sound like I'm <laughs> and It's going to be the word next time. I should think that was the word last time. You were talking about making noises, but... I was actually farting. <laughs> <laughs> run, Chloe, run. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, this wasn't what I was going to say, but it was something similar, and it was just... It was good to have that and then have people compliment us. And it sounds really big-headed, but it was nice. Okay? Great. Done. Then but then we got to do high ropes, which was great. Um, the jungle have a really good high ropes course. It's actually quite difficult. Uh, my brother, we went with my, our brother um, a few years, years ago. ago, and he's been to a couple of high ropes courses over in England, like Go Ape, which is north, like outside London, like north London. I really, ju- I base everywhere off London, because that's really the only place I've gone. Uh, but yeah, it's right there somewhere, and he said it's better than that. So if you've been to Go Ape, Get yourself over to the jungle, because apparently it's better. Okay, uh, that's that's cool. What about we? They also did segways, seg- segway, which is why Judith made a joke about nice segway, segway. Um, but you had to do either segway or high ropes. They also have llamas at the jungle. Just great. They're really soft and fluffy. They also look really like up themselves. <laughs> they just have good posture. But we were taking photos and I was holding one, or like, yeah, like on the lead. And he just kept on looking at me, like giving me like serious side eye. Like I know their eyes are at the side of their faces, but it was just like, I don't know. I just felt really inadequate. I just felt like I was just being judged the whole time. Like, why are you standing? Look at me and my llama, what way are you standing? <laughs> okay. I don't, okay. I didn't think it was that bad. I liked llamas. You were standing should, next to my llama. But yours was good. The other one was just kind of like, no. I want to be the centre of attention. Look at me. That's because I had I had good control over my llama. Me and him had a good talk before we started. You're, okay. I can't remember what, he's, what his actual name was, but I called him Jeremy. Jeremy? Yeah. That's a good llama-ish name. He was a brown llama, just in case anyone was wondering. Sort of gingery, browny kind of copper. Copper. I would say copper. Bronze. It's... No. I thought he was the colour of a shiny more orange. Toupee. No, he's more orange than that. Okay. A ginger ginger llama. Yeah. But not like Ed Sheeran ginger. More like 
You don't We're know. We're getting too tied down here in Colours of Llamas. <laughs> <laughs> but if people can't see you, you need to describe things nicely for them. I know, but... Okay, I know that. <laughs> I was like, if people can't see, they're not going to know colours anyway, but you meant because it's a podcast. Yeah. I was like, but people have been blind since birth. They don't... <laughs> do they know what colours are? Yeah, enough. Right, if, if you are a fully blind person, blind from birth, welcome. Um, but also, whenever people have to describe things to you, how do we do that? Like, do colours help? Yeah, if we say, oh, it's it's a really nice shade of yellow, it's um, a two-storey building, like, does that make sense? Or yeah, because we, we went wall climbing with a girl and she was fully blind since birth and she was like, so how high is it? And we're like, <laughs> she's like, uh, it's about the size of, like, a three-storey building. Does that make, does that work? And she's like, oh, right, yeah, okay. And I was like, all right then, that's cool. But then it's like, how do you know? Like, maybe, maybe it's one of those things where it's like, Colours are sort of almost, um, like you can kind like of make them up in your, your head. Yeah, your own sort of perspective. That's not the, that's not the word I was going for. Your perception? But yeah, your perception of colours like, could be different. Like, I guess if you said it was like a three-storey building, they could be like, hmm, I once walked up three flights of stairs. That seemed long. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, maybe or would you say, like, it's the size of ten U's? <laughs> yeah. But then I suppose... Or talk. it's like about 12 of your dogs. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, if, if you are fully blind or you know someone who is, please ask them these questions. Because... Ask them nicely, though. Like, if we're being rude about yeah, this, tell we, us. Because we're just curious. We're, yeah. not, we're not trying to be rude. Like, we're visually impaired. I think we're just we're weird being, questions. I think this is what people are like with us whenever they're like, so, um, sorry, uh, you, you can't see properly. Sorry, your um, disability. Um, sorry. Uh, I don't like that word. Disability. No, I don't like. Your, I don't like being special called, needs. I don't like. No, I hate that. Even I more. hate being called special needs. Like, I mean, okay, like it's. Uh, no, I don't like it. No, I'm not even going to try and defend it. Just don't do it. <laughs> like special needs and disability just sound so broken. Not even broken. <laughs> just like condescending almost. Yeah. Like I don't know what you would call. I would just call it like my visual impairment or my eyesight. But then if you have a group of people, it kind of does help to just be like these are people with disabilities. Yeah. Well, like that works. But also, like if it's just talking about me, I'd rather you just say visual impairment rather than oh, that's the disabled girl. Because <laughs> I don't know. I mean, if someone was saying that's the girl with the visual impairment, I would much prefer it if they said oh, that's Judith. Well, yeah. Okay. Or if they knew the name yet, like <laughs> just the teacher, <laughs> teacher in class, just like disabled girl number one. <laughs> Very good. My name's Chloe, actually. Disabled girl number two. My name's Judith. Disabled girl number two. <laughs> that would be really funny. Although I think that would be the same as like going, Ginger kid. <laughs> you boy. <laughs> but it would also still kind of make you stand out. I don't really... I don't know. Imagine someone did that. I'm just kind of imagining how I would react if like a thing is, what probably did happen like years ago, whereas now there's that many no, but rules if you were disabled years stuff. ago, you probably wouldn't have been allowed to go to school because you would have been like... Shame to your family. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Just locked up in a cupboard. Yeah. <laughs> or just killed for your... Isn't that what they do in, like, Africa? Yeah, well, Africa. Like killed. They're killed yeah. for their hearts or something, for, like, magic. Mad- yeah. <laughs> witchcraft. No, but it's, yeah, witchcraft. Is that all the same? Is that magic and witchcraft are the same? Yeah. Thing, right? Yeah, okay. Just, you laughed at me there and I kind of got a wee bit... No, yeah, no, like, no, no. I just, I just prefer the term witchcraft and if you say it in, like, a English accent, you just witchcraft. start... Yeah, and you really go, like, stay going, cool whip. Cool whip. I love that. Um, really hard to joke yesterday, which is why I sound a wee bit out of it. I was fine this morning when you I woke up. You were so out of it. You were just like... I was totally fine. Like I woke up this morning and I got like a full maybe eight, ten hours sleep, whatever. Which is the longest I've slept in about three weeks, I think. I've been sort of living on like six hours of sleep or whatever. But it was... I felt so good. I was like, yeah, let's take on the day. And then we went outside for maybe half an hour or something. It's nearly an hour. Nearly an hour, okay, whatever. And my eyes burn now, so... In the, in the sun, I should point out, it's like start of heat wave number two for the UK. And it was quite warm, it's like 20 degrees, which people in Australia are scoffing at. <laughs> They're going, you start there, boy. 20 degrees. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, because no, it's actually, it's like, what, like 13 degrees or something in Sydney. It was sort of like, I was walking around in just a t-shirt. Yeah. And they're like, oh, I need to get, need to get out the coat, the jacket. And it's like, no, you don't. You've never been to Australia. You just said I was walking around Sydney. I didn't. I thought you said something. Okay, right. Okay. <laughs> Can we just put this in? Judith was, she genuinely was fine earlier, and now she's literally just head on, head on hand. Like she's, she's just tired. She needs a nap. I could have sworn you said something like, oh, I was walking around <laughs> Sydney and then I was just wearing a t-shirt. I was walking around during the week. Right, okay, sorry. 
I thought you said, okay, right, okay, okay, <laughs> right, gotcha. But yeah, so hard as oak for but people who don't know. cold, though. You did need a jacket during the week, but then once you were walking for a while, you had to take the jacket off. Anyway, hard as oak, right? But they were kept night coats. Yeah, sorry, hard as oak. Yes. Hard as oak is Ireland's hardest obstacle course. Um, is it 10k or is it not 10k? They said one year it was 10k, so I think everybody just sort of took it as it's 10k. Keep you, keep you talking about it there, I'm going to Google it. So it's roughly a 10k run, but with over 100 obstacles. So the obstacles range from running through like swampland, where you can be running on fairly solid ground, and then your legs just disappear, like which happened to me. me. Uh, we were running through it, and... There was sort of, there was reeds and grass and some of it was sort of trampled down so you need to run on that bit. And then there was other bits that were just sort of like gaping mud holes. And so everybody was sort of getting stuck in it and, and I decided just to go for speed. And I was going really well with speed. Speed was helping me along. I felt like Jesus and then Jesus hit me down because my legs... you did shout. You were like, look at me, I'm Jesus. I gave everybody a laugh though and then my legs disappeared. It was quite funny. <laughs> like, just imagine someone running and then they just like disappear. It's like that Vicar of, like Vicar of Dibley episode where they're jumping in puddles. Oh yeah, and then she disappears up to her neck. That's basically what it was. That I just disappeared up to my, above my waist. That literally happened to me though, because there was like a wee bit where you were walking along a stream or whatever, and I was running, and then the next thing there was like, there was like wee steps down, because it was like a wee sort of waterfall type river. Is that whenever I said, oh it's deep, and then you came back behind me and that is deep? <laughs> no, because I was in front of you at that oh, point. Okay. It was the boys in front of me and they were like, oh that one's a bit deep, and I was like running, and I was like, oh it's not that deep. And then I put one leg in and was like, ooh, <laughs> and yeah, it was, was a bit deep. It was a bit like that, but it was only up to like halfway up my thighs. Also, um, Ireland's hardest 10 kilometre obstacle race. Um, so it is 10k, apparently. It feels a lot longer, but I suppose you're sort of running and then there's an obstacle, so you stop and wait a minute and then you have to wait for another obstacle and then you do that and then you run a wee bit more. Actually, that, like, they timed it pretty well this year because we weren't waiting that long for any obstacles. Yeah. We were sort of, it was, it was fairly... It was fairly, like, it was flowing well. Yeah. But there was there's lots of lots of obstacles in it, lots of really good ones. Tarzan um, swing, that's my favourite one. Yeah. You swing over a big thing of water. Puddle, yeah. yeah. I think probably the worst one is the tires. Like you know those roller things that you got in like kids' foam play areas yeah. where you had to go through the middle of the foam rollers and they would yeah. have like rolled through. Um it's like that only with tires. So there's two sets of tires on the bottom and then there's one on the top and you have to squeeze through. I did the first set and then the second set was far, far tighter. Yeah, it's, but it's it was not also nice. It was also like there was loads of people going through and then there was you, Shannon and Kyle. There was four of us doing it together and you were already through and I was like, I'm not going to hold us all back. I'm just going to walk around the side and do it because it's, it's good in that if you're afraid to do something, they don't force you to. They encourage you to overcome your fears and face your fears. But also, like, if you're going to freak out about it and you don't want to do it, then you can just sidestep it. And I felt bad for missing that one, but I was also like, I did one set. <laughs> and there's a lot of people here. So really, I'm, it's it's the the greater good that I'm doing this. So. But it's really, like, I love Art as Oak because, like, this is our third year doing it. Um, but every year you just, you end up making friends. Like, you might not you might not talk to them again. Yeah. Like after the race, like you don't get. We saw anything, actual but... old friends. We saw like yeah, Sean and Laura and Claire and. But yeah, like you you meet people and you just sort of like, you just end up like following them round and just sort of getting to know them and stuff and it's it's really nice and there's a lot of teamwork as well. Teamwork is a big part of it, and it's just really nice. And we got a free T-shirt at the end, so like buzzing. Yeah, but I think it's yeah yeah. We yeah, also get shot at with paintballs, which is not nice. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. It's, it, it involves some pain. And you have to jump off into a river, off, off a cliff, like off a... I don't know, what, what would you call it? Like a thing sticking out from a cliff. A diving board type thing. Off platform. Into, platform. That's the word. Um, a platform into some water. But there's like the highest one, then there's like a middle one, and then you just sort of... Step in. Step in. <laughs> but the high one is always the best one to do. Yeah. And then at the end, there's a big water slide, which is cool. Yeah. But I was gonna say like, there is pain involved. Like you're not you're not going through it thinking, number one, I'm gonna get out here clean as a whistle, and number two, I'm gonna get out here and not have any kind of injuries. Like yeah, you get bruises the whole way around. Like my legs are, I got not shot. as bad as Chloe. I got shot three times with a paintball paintball gun, so I have three dirty bruises on my legs. Um, but yeah, it's really good. My body is sore today, but I'm I'm ready for 2019 
Yep, that's it. I'm signing up. What else have we been doing since the last podcast? It was Father's Day. Yes, yes it was. Father's Day. What day is Father's Day? Uh, Sunday. Sunday. No, I need that. I'm going to need that answer. I'm going to need it as a question. I so if I the don't... answer is Sunday, the question right, would be... What day is Father's Day? Sunday. Yeah, you're all. You're almost there. <laughs> That's the best. We'll post a link to that along with... If you just point. search on YouTube, New Zealand, what day is Father's Day? Yeah. It's a radio competition that they, they held and it was just this woman. She just couldn't get it into her head that it was like one of those quizzes where they give you the answer and you have to give the question. And she just couldn't... She knew the she knew that it was what day is Father's Day, but she just couldn't get into her head. She just had to say what day is Father's Day. Yeah, but but it's, it's, it's so funny. funny. We watched The Incredibles last night. It's pretty good. I think it was the first time I've ever watched it the full way through, because it always used to be on in primary school for like wet break or whatever, or like wet lunchtime or whatever. Whenever yeah. you were sitting and you couldn't go outside, it was always on. So I always saw like bits of it, sort of maybe twenty minutes, half an hour at a time. But like never in the right order and always missing bits out. Yeah. And then last night we watched it in full, properly, the full way through. And it was good. It's a pretty good film. So The Incredibles 2 is coming out. So I suppose we should go see that then. See yeah. how the story ends or whatever. I'm pretty sure it's out now, is it not? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's out now. Um see so what else do I have written down here? Technology. Technology! Um Yeah. I was going to say, everything's moving towards you're like, getting tired online now too. things. And you're just losing. it's just like... You're, you're just not even listening to me. You're getting tired now too. Why? I don't know. You're just, whenever I'm speaking, you're just looking at me as if you're so bored. It's and because I am. You bore me. No, um, I was saying that technology is like, everything's moving towards like screens and stuff. And I don't know, me personally, I hate it. I hate it. Like, ugh. I don't know. Like, sometimes screens are okay, but there's like... There comes a time during the day where I'm literally just like, I cannot look at a computer screen or I cannot look at a phone screen a minute more. And like, I've tried the whole, like, turn the brightness down and put night mode on to get rid of, like, the blue light. And it just, it doesn't help. I don't know what you think, Judith. No. I was trying to sort of butt in there, but you didn't give me a chance. And then you keep complaining that I'm interrupting. What were you, what were you trying to say? When did you try and butt in? I was Because like, all you were saying, you had, had your hand up. up. Because you complained earlier that I interrupted you, so I was being polite this time. Um, you could have tapped me. No one would have seen you tap me. <laughs> but you would have been like, what? Um, but I, I don't mind take everything moving to screens and stuff. But I think I'm just not the kind of person who would want to work with screens the whole time. Like, there's ways around it. Like, it's not like everything is... I think there's always going to be the other option but rather than it being oh do you want this on an ipad instead it's going to be oh do you want this on paper instead like it's going to be the secondary option yeah rather than but then also they don't want to kill trees anymore and i get that and like i know that there's like do you want this on a napkin <laughs> no <laughs> on some recycled paper no but you, there's like a, a notebook that's out and you can write away in it and then whenever like it it's like live scribe except uh-huh. you can put it in the microwave and it wipes everything off it and I think that's really cool. Like, I would like that. Because that's class. I get, like, a million notebooks, write two pages in it, and go, right, that's going to be my specific notebook for this. So what... It, but, and then but, I always lose the notebook. But maybe you wouldn't be like that if you just had this one notebook and it was, oh, if it gets filled, it doesn't matter. Then That's what just... I mean. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, right, it, okay. it, it would st- save me buying, like, 20 million notebooks. But then what if you were, like, you know the way you have old notebooks and you kind of look back at them and you're like, oh, But that's what, that's what it would have it all, like, online. Oh, right, so you okay. could like flick through it. That's why I said it was kind of like live scribe. Oh, right, okay, yeah. You, you didn't say that though. I did say it was like live scribe. Yeah, but you I did, did say but, it was like, going to be online. Yeah, okay. I didn't hear you say it was going to be online. I like listening back to these podcasts and being like, ah, see, I knew she didn't say that. I'm, pretty, I'm 99% sure I said it. Um, but then what would happen? Like, well, I suppose it has to have the microwaves would erase it. Yeah. So it's not necessarily like the heat from the microwave yeah. that erases like, it. Like it's not. Yeah. It's not like a biro. <laughs> it's like it's like some sort of special pen. Like it's not just like you have to use a specific pen for it. Yeah. You can't just use like a normal biro on it. Yeah. Obviously, because if it's going to be saved online, surely it's tracking the movement of the pen. Then. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. Well, it's life scribes a biro. No, but it's but it's like a special pen. Yeah, because it has a laser in behind it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not a biro. It is a biro. It's it a just special has a pen. laser. 
But it's a special pen. But it's a biro with a laser. But it has a laser built into it. It's a special pen. Yeah, but it's, it's not, not a biro. Just, but it's not a biro. It's a special pen. No, but I mean the pen bit of it is a biro. Well, but it just has a laser. What else? Like, <laughs> how else is it going to write on the thing? It could have, like, it could be like a fountain pen. Yeah. <laughs> Felt tip. Like a gel pen. Could be like special gel. Like, I don't know. I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to try and put biro on some paper and put that in the microwave. No, because microwaves burn things. Yeah. Maybe not. Don't oh, burn things, folks. Do you ever get that thing in your ear and it's just like a really high-pitched buzzing noise and it's just randomly in your ear? Have you got that now? Yeah, but it's so loud. <laughs> oh, that's... Yeah, sorry. You know what else annoys me about technology? Electric cars. Yeah, they're too quiet. Down with electric cars. Like, no, I mean, I'm all for electric cars, but can they not have, like, a wee, like, buzzer or something like that? <laughs> well, that'll be really Just annoying. Just go around, just go... <laughs> yes, it would be annoying, but it would help the blind and partially sighted community. Maybe it could play music. Oh, wait, no, because then... Like an ice cream bar! Yeah, then everyone would run towards it like an ice cream. Blop, 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 blop. But it would make maybe spit, like, rock music or, like, I don't know. <laughs> you could just pick your tunes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I know, because that really annoys me as well. Whenever one's like in the hot weather and stuff, when they pull up to traffic lights or whatever, and their music's blasting out, it's like, like it's fine. Yeah. It's fine if it's just one car, but see if there's like three cars there and they're all playing different stations. But it's like, why do you have to have it that loud anyway? Like, because this generation has tinnitus and they're all deaf because they listen to heavy metal rock music. Yeah. No, but like, like although like, mind you, there are times whenever someone pulls up and they're playing like a proper tune, you're like, yes, lad. Did you hear my shoulder click? I did. That was quite loud. But no, what was I going to say? Like, oh, I just, this is just going to go into like a wee pet peeve here. But people who listen to music and you can hear it. Oh, with, like, like, with earphones yeah, in? Yeah. Right. That's awful. Like, why would you do that? Like, I get like that on the bus, it can be a wee bit noisy. And some people don't necessarily like the like bus sounds. Yeah. <laughs> like the sound of the engine. But like. You don't need it that loud, or else get yourself I think a pair did. of more efficient earphones. I remember they did a thing on Newsround, or I think it was Newsround or else Blue Peter, and it was if you can hear it from, I think, is it a metre away? Yeah. Whenever you're, if you have, if you're holding your earphones a metre away from you, or like an arm's length away from you, and you can hear the music, then it's too loud. It's going to damage your hearing. So obviously then, that's the earphones not touching anything do you know what i mean like that's them open and letting the sound out so surely if they're in your ears and you can still hear the music from like a meter away do you know what i mean does that make sense because if they're in your ear then the music the, the, is, like, is the, the speaker end bit is like supposedly going straight into yeah. your ear it's it's hitting off something it's like going onto something yeah whereas if you're just holding it in your hand and you can hear it a meter away like fine okay that's like maybe not as bad because it's like open yeah, so like it's able to yeah so if you can hear someone's earphones if they're in their ear then, then that's could, like, really loud yeah if they had it like out of their ear arm length away it like, would be even louder yeah like that like why would you do that <laughs> that's really, what i'm trying to say like, yeah, why, no, why would you do that to yourself like either buy yourself a pair of more efficient earphones like noise cancelling like in earphones. Oh, right, I was gonna say like in ear ones. Yeah, probably well, better, same but thing. But like, the, the, oh. is it just me or is this podcast really rambly? Are they always this rambly? Am I just over? I mean, normally we plan it a bit more. Like today, we were just kind of like, oh yeah, we need to record a podcast. Here's a pen and a piece of paper, Chloe. <laughs> write stuff down. I was, to be fair, I was trying to set up my laptop and I didn't yeah. set it up very well because loads of pop ups came up. But you know, I tried. But yeah. Get yourself some good earphones and don't damage your hearing. And if you fart, then run away. Or are we finishing now? No, I was just... You were giving some advice. I wanted to give some advice. Okay. <laughs> <We> just <laughs> sort of... Um, reusing the title. Yeah. I was gonna, what was I going to say? Like, building it up, like, encouraging it, reinforcing. Reinforcing, reinforcing the title. Well, Daddy always says it's better to burp and taste it than fart and waste it. But then that's not reinforcing the title. I know, but... I was just saying because it's it's a good saying. It is, yeah. Except once you've burped thing something like for an hour or whatever, if you have something like garlicky, and then you like keep burping like or eggy, leak, or like if you have like, leaking potato soup or oh. boiled egg, and you keep burping it, and it, then you just sort of want to book. That was awful. Monday we had an interview with uh, will we say the brand? No, name? no. With a certain uh company dairy. 
dairy as in, as in dairy as in cows, not dairy as in yeah, that's what I, was, I was trying to say that. <laughs> dairy um, product place who do really nice protein milk, but do I want to buy their cream. protein milk anymore? I don't think so. We might uh, we, we might hear back tomorrow. We might hear back tomorrow, in which case I'll continue to buy their products and maybe mention their name. But um, <laughs> anyway, we had an we interview had, on Monday. And we had bacon like, potato soup beforehand because we were with Dad and Dad was like, you need to have something to eat. And we were like, we want something cheap though. Um, so we had leek and potato soup. To be fair, it was really nice. It was nice, yeah. But, like, burping it for an hour or two afterwards, it just eventually, it just sort of got to the stage where it was like, no. Nah. I hate this so much. Yeah. Which is sad because, you know, it's, it's nice to have, it's nice to have soup. Yeah. It's nice to have It was decent wheat and bread too, to be fair. Like, wheat and bread. Can we talk about wheat and bread? Yeah, go talk about wheat and bread. Our friend from church, nice wee lady, she makes homemade wheat and bread and it is beaut. I mean, it is the nicest wheat bread I've ever tasted. Honestly, I would eat it like a cake. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. And she makes it in like these loaves and she does it in like huge She does it in batches of ten. Yeah, and she gave us the recipe and she was like, yeah, just divide that by ten or something. It's like, what? <laughs> but it's like, you know the way you can get really dense wheat and bread? This is not dense. This is like spongy. And it's sticky. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's just so good. Like, top quality. Genesis wheat and bread is also quite nice. And you like Diddy's wheat and bread. Diddy's wheat and bread. Diddy's Diddy. Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's such to a weird anyone name. not from Northern Ireland, it sounds weird. <laughs> Gotta have some daddy's wheat and bread. Um, <laughs> we should have called it daddy's. <laughs> daddy's farts, daddy's and farts. farts. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Is that all you want to say about wheat and bread? Yeah, don't just. You it's just said really wheat and bread, nice. Yeah. Like, but what way do you eat wheat and bread and soup though? Like whenever I mean. It depends I'm eating... if it's nice wheat and bread. I yeah. like to sieve it, but I put the crusts. I rip the crust and then put them in as like, yeah, like croutons. croutons. Yeah, that's what I do. I like to make croutons out of wheat and bread, and just like, because especially if the soup isn't overly nice, you put the wheat and bread in, and it sort of sucks up the flavour, and then you have the wheat and bread and the flavour, and it's it's pretty decent. Um, but yeah, no, I, I oh I also do it in egg as well, scrambled egg. Nah, not a fan of that. Not a fan. He makes scrambled eggs slightly too watery. And then you put wheat and bread in it, and it just soaks all. Oh, it's beautiful. It's like I know it's not. It's not that everyone's taste. It's kind of like how crunchy do you like your cereal? I personally like mine really crunchy, where you can or really soggy, where you can get like the flavour has gone into the milk. Like that is perfect. I did three like Italian <laughs> kissing Kiss. thing. That's like. Magnifico, or whatever they call it. Um, Magnifico. Oh, no, that's French. Yeah, Sorry, that's, that's why I put a wheel on the butt at the end because I was like Magnifique, and then I was like, no, that's French. Magnifico. That's Italian. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I did. If you're Italian, I'm really sorry. Um, but if you're French, I did French for quite a while, so I like to think I'm semi-fluent. Semi-fluent. Is that even a thing? I wonder if people are semi-fluent in Northern Irish. I tried to learn Irish. We have um, twin friends who are younger than us, but they also they did they did Irish at school because uh, because their school gave them that option, I suppose. Um, but they tried to teach me Irish, and I didn't really learn much. I learned how to say "geodich" and "geas muradich," which is "hello." <laughs> a way of it. saying it's it's a greeting anyway. But um apologies to any Irish people. You are great. What? Dogs. I freaking love dogs. We have a puppy at the minute and he's just no he's a wee bit annoying at times because he's like he's at that teething stage where he just wants to bite everything. Yeah. And it's just like spot stop, please. His name is Spot. He's like four weeks old. Three, yeah. four. Um he's going to a new home at the start Soon. of July. Yeah. Which is sad but also he poos everywhere, he pees, pees everywhere, everywhere, and he bites everything. Yeah. And he's so needy. But he's super cute. He is super you, cute. You're like, you're cross at him, and then you walk out, and he looks up at you with those wee eyes and his wee ears, and he's like, you're like, oh, you don't even have to be, I'm not even mad anymore, you just come here and give me a cuddle. And then he starts biting you, and it's just like, yeah, spot what you But do. like, oh, like whenever we're out in a walk, like honestly, if I see a dog, it's just made my day. 
Yeah. Like, like we keep a dog count when it's whenever we're out. Yeah. Whenever we're out. It's just like I saw twelve dogs today. It was just like day made. And whenever we're walking and I see a dog, I'm like, Chloe, dog, 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 dog. I get more I get way more hyped than you. Yeah. Okay, you're just, just like, I'm just worried that the owner will hear you just going dog 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 I think you're like autistic or something. If any owner hears me whispering about their dog, please just say, Would you like to pet him? Because honestly, I think I would cry. I'm too nervous to talk to like dog owners because I'm like, I feel really bad because I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to your dog. Sometimes whenever dogs dogs and their owners walk past, like if they overtake us or something, I whisper behind them just I like your dog. And someday and owner is going to hear me and turn around and go thanks and I'm going to be like oh <laughs> especially if a if a hot guy is walking a dog that's how you're going to find your mom yeah I'm going to be like I like your dog and you and he's going to be like hey and I'll be like hey can I walk your dog I'll be like yes and then we'll be like let's go on walk- dog walking dates and now anyway I don't know what I would do with a boyfriend if I ever had one just be like, what do you want to do? Can you, you want to go for a walk? Can do you, you dri- want? Do you want food? <laughs> can, you, can you drive me to the gym, please? Thank you. Bye. That's. I think I would just use him as a taxi. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, mate. It's... I mean, I think if I get a boyfriend, he's gonna have to like want to go to the gym because that's basically where I spend half my time. He's here. He's gonna want to go to the gym. Want to go for naps. Not any hanky panky business. Just a nap. <laughs> just a nap. <laughs> just a nap. Oh, hanky panky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, dog. Sue's awake. Oh, you know what I remember we have to do? Someone tweeted us. We have to do a song. Oh, about um, jam, jam on, on cars. cars. Um, jam see. on some cars. Jam on some cars. But Wait, that's no, technically that's... stealing mug and a dog. Yeah. Or mm. another theme tune as well. Greg James podcast there. Look, you've got some jam on your car. You've got some jam on your car. <laughs> jam. On your car, yeah. I was, I hear car and I just think of chasing cars. So I was trying to, in my head, <laughs> we do it all. I don't know. Marmalade. <laughs> and you tell us. <laughs> if it's spread here. <laughs> if it's just spread here. Would you like jam or some marmalade as well? <laughs> Let's waste time jamming cars. <laughs> I was going to say spreading jam. Oh, on, on our cars. <laughs> that works. <laughs> there you go. That was really fun, actually. <laughs> we should do songs more often. You're very good at right, like, making up songs, though. I think I think you're better at it than I am. I just, I just go with it. You just have to have the confidence to just sing. Yeah, to just sort of start and hope it ends well. Yeah. But is it not harder whenever you're given a topic and you have to just roll with yeah. that? Whereas you just make up your own. Like there's a Snapchat maybe from just over a year ago because Snapchat now does memories. And oh, it was, yeah. It was the fart one and that's actually that actually gave me the idea of the fart and run like two weeks ago whenever we were talking about yeah. it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was like, why don't you just walk away? Then no one would know it was you that farted. Next number one, I think. Yeah. Uh, someone let Simon Kyle hear that and you'll get signed up to his record label. <laughs> that was... It's... it's Yeah. I think I was I was a wee bit... I was going to say hi. I was hyper. High on life. High on life. High on the banter. High on the crack. Like C-R-A-I-C. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough, yeah. Because... <laughs> No, you know what I thought about? It was on a podcast, I think, or else it was on, like, someone had put up a tweet or something, and it was an English person, and I knew they were English, and I, I knew their accent. I can't remember if it was a a famous person or, like, a politician or, like, do you know what I mean? It yeah, was, it was someone. Know, yeah. And they used the word, was it the word crack or the word grand? Like, as in, oh, that's grand, mm-hmm. kind of thing. And I was just like, no, no, don't. Because it just, if you're English and you're saying, oh, that's grand, like, it just, okay, well, if you're describing a house as big, like, that's a grand house, okay, fine, or like a grandfather clock, that's okay, but also, don't use the word crack, okay, unless you're, unless you're 
Um, I think Scottish sounds okay. Yeah. Chloe's on, back. She was just getting a drink there. Hold on. Let me see. Like, let me just get into a Scottish accent and let me see. What are Scottish using? people? Grand. Sorry. Grand and crack. Ugh, aye, that's grand. <laughs> yeah. See, it sounds okay. And then try and do for the crack. Uh, Actually, I'll just do it for the crack. It yeah, sounds, it sounds all right. All right in Scotland. I can't do a Welsh accent well enough to be able to do it. I'm from Wales. That's grand. No, I don't know. It sounds a bit it weird. It sounds okay. I've heard people say it. But I don't know. Post Bond Pat just... used to say that's grand, did he not? That's grand. Oh, yeah, he did. Or was it Farmer... Whatever you call him. I can't remember, but I can hear... What's that Farmer called? I used to call him Farmer Forest. No, he wasn't. Hi. Farmer Ted? No, I don't think it was Farmer Ted. Ted Glenn. Ted Glenn. Wasn't it? Yeah, it wasn't a farmer. It was no, Ted Glenn. it was Ted Glenn. Ted Glenn was like the guy who wore the dungarees with the big brush moustache. Yeah. That's so who, what was was the, who was the farmer? He was like far, Farmer Thompson or something like that. Thompson, that's it. And then his wife. Because there's Thompsons who are farmers near us and I was always like, oh, it's Winifred. <laughs> anyway, that's another story. There's Mrs. Goggins. Oh, Mrs. Goggins. I loved it. It was one man that did all those voices, wasn't it? I think so. Thank you. It was class. And now they have to hire like a million people to do the different voices. Like, what's wrong with just having one guy or one one woman? High unemployment rates. <laughs> high unemployment rates. <laughs> Only hire me. I could do like all the voices, and you'd only have to pay me like once. I realise now that I've probably offended a lot of English people and made them feel quite self conscious. Maybe, and I'm sorry, but just cracks our word. It's and also, got to accept our Irish money. All right, enough. <laughs> and Northern Irish mother. He was a Stephen Nolan. I don't usually like back Stephen Nolan, but he was in England the other day and Subway refused, and Subway. To, sub- <laughs> refused to serve him because he was using like an Ulster Bank banknote. Like, for him, he didn't get a sandwich. Stephen, you don't need it. Like, I know he doesn't need it, but like, still, like, the only reason, in, like, we got told this in Scotland, actually, but apparently the only reason like people don't accept Ulster Bank notes or like any kind of notes from. I think we talked about this last time, but the reason they don't accept it is because they have to bank it differently. Yeah, but they have to keep it separate. <gasps> but also, the world it, coming to But it also confuses them because there's so many different colours and types of, like, there's Ulster Bank, there's, like, Bank of Ireland. We Northern definitely talked about this in the Bank, last one. Yeah, but they're all different colours and different patterns and stuff, and people get confused because, oh, but it looked like a 20. It's like, me. it's just, there's numbers on it. Can you read numbers? Good. Yes. That's a 10. That's a 20. That's a 5. Okay. They're also different sizes. 20s are the big ones. To be fair, though, the English money now has Braille on it, which I think is really cool. Like, I don't read Braille. I've pretended to read Braille, but... You made Morse code. <laughs> Check out the skit, guys. I mean, the skit... The skit, comma, guys. There's people on YouTube called the skit guys, and they're pretty good. They're really yeah. good, but kind of where we got the skit twins name from. But it's fine. It's fine. It's not copyright. Is it copyright? No, it wouldn't be because it's a different name. It's the skit twins. Got it. Okay. Shh, Speaking sh- about the skit that we did on Wednesday, what else do you want to, like, is there anything you want us to do? Like, that we can make funny, or... I know that Bake Off has always been very popular. Yeah. But also, <laughs> we live with our parents. And, and they don't need to use the kitchen, too. <laughs> and they don't really like the fact that we put everything on fire. Yeah. But, I mean, we do like making Bake Off videos, so we will be doing more of those. Like, Bake Off is not going to disappear by any means, but yeah. we can't do them really frequently, because also, then we have, like, four cakes lying around the house, and it's like... We Who's can't gonna eat, these? eat like like all the cake, um, but yeah, no, we will be doing more Bake Off. But is there anything else that we've done, maybe like a one-time video of that you sort of thought that was really funny? Do more stuff like that, or especially with like our VI files, um, like a lot of the people from the RNIB really like them, and we just want to like, what sort of things do you encounter that you want to hear about, like that we could sort of turn into a sketch. Uh, you know whether it's like traveling or maybe well we've done the cafe um maybe going on dates going on blind dates blind dates <laughs> um or maybe doing sports or something i don't know i'm just plucking things out yeah. of the air here but um you know what kind of things do you as a potentially visually impaired person face in day-to-day life or, or if you if you are normally sighted what sort of things do you do you want to see like how you how visually manage. impaired people, how, how they cope with it. Because um, that would be... Cause, because we're visually impaired, we don't really think about the sighted community and what they think. Yeah. We kind of... 
a lot of people sort of think the side community are the other ones because they're a wee bit pardon the pun but they're a wee bit blind to like visually impaired people yeah um that's also sort of shown in the skit that we did the new glasses one um where the sighted person is sort of like oh but you're blind so how can you see kind of thing so it's sort of we want to try and get across that there's different kinds of visual impairment it's like a scale and that visually impaired people aren't incapable of doing things that we can adapt and we can you're just looking at me and it's really putting me off i'm, I'm sorry <laughs> like am i making sense or yeah like, yeah, yeah you could nod encouragingly or smile sorry, at me we'll just look away um but i i i like to hope that the vi fives are showing that even though we have visual impairments we can get around things and we can adapt and we can still do everything that everyone else can do we just have to do it differently and or, we can be funny yeah i i like the fact that we sort of make a joke of it i quite enjoy that aspect of it because like i like to call it infotainment infotainment yeah because it's informative and it's entertaining but that's so cheesy that's so american info comedy i think Inf- it's informity informity <laughs> i think it's because it sounds like infomercial but um i In- think informity sounds, <laughs> 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 it sounds like vomit <laughs> She's got a a touch of that informity there. (laughs) Oh, Des, but has she been to the GP? (laughs) Oh, sorry, I can't come into work today. I've got a bit of informity. (laughs) (laughs) Do you know what's smart? I feel so embarrassed. (laughs) <laughs> can, we, can we edit that bit out, please? <laughs> I don't even think they would have heard it. <laughs> but now everyone knows. I apologise if you didn't hear that. <laughs> anyway, I think that's. I think we're just in about a giddy stage now. <laughs> will, we, will we wrap it up? I hope people are laughing. If people aren't laughing, then we yeah. haven't done our job. Please let us know if these do make you laugh or if you just think it's a pile of nonsense. Or... The kind of podcast that I love and hate, because I listen to podcasts at the gym, and I was listening to one on Friday, and it, it got to a funny part, and I was sort of like half an hour done on the Stairmaster, and my legs were already pretty weak, and they started doing funny things, and my legs nearly went from underneath me, and I was just like, this is awful, but it's so funny, and yeah. Yeah, so please listen to this in the gym and let us know if it makes your legs go weak. <laughs> also, you're also, saying? you know, just be careful in the gym, because if you are doing like squats or whatever, or if you're on the treadmill or whatever, just be careful if you're listening to music, because it might not be silent. Just... If oh, you're th- talking about farts now. I am, um, yeah. I just didn't want to say it out loud. I was just going to try and keep it cool. You know, you can, I've done you can that. almost tell. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell if it's going to be silent. And just be really aware because I haven't personally done it, but I have heard people and it's like, God love you. <laughs> that was loud. No, but like there's times, I don't know if I've actually done it, but there's times and it's just been like, I'm just going to let it out now, it's fine. And then you sort of, you, you do the thing and then you're like, oh flip, was that quiet or loud? How about, how loud's the music in here? Is there someone on the rowing machine making like loads of noise? Oh flip, everyone's going to be looking at me. Does it smell? And <laughs> Nothing worse than a smelly fart whenever you're just stuck in place and you're like, come on, someone open the door, fan me. Where's the air, where's the oh, air really? conditioner? I'll just run with my arms behind me a bit. <laughs> I'll floss. I'll do that thing. Speaking of flossing, how come kids are so good at it? Because like, kids they, don't do it. Like, they, they just don't do their homework. They're just going to sit in front of it. and floss for yeah. hours on end. I don't have time for that. I'll just sort of be able to half do it and just sort of be like, oh yeah, I can do it. And then they're like, show me. And it's be like... I'm too cool for that. And then they'll be like, oh, she's so, so cool. cool. I think one of the most fun, the funniest but cringiest things is watching parents and old people trying to do it. Mind you, there's like, I follow like loads of rugby players on Instagram and watching them film each other trying to do it is just the funniest thing because they're just like, yeah, I can do it. I can do it. And then they stand there and you're like, no, that's, that's not, not it. it. <laughs> you're just nice sort of, hip action. You're just sort of wiggling arms. your arms about <laughs> Oh, 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 listen, that's our dog. That's the big dog, that's Sue. She's saying hey. Everybody say hey, Sue. Hey, Sue. Sue. Yeah, anyway, sorry, she was barking. I just thought I'd sort of roll with it. So do you have anything else you want to say or will we wrap it up? I don't know, how long is it? 56 minutes. I think we should probably make it an hour. 
See no, I don't. I don't know. Remember. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, really. No. Um. So, thank you very much again for listening. Please do leave us a comment, like a review. Like us on SoundCloud. Follow us on SoundCloud. Subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. I don't think you can leave a review on SoundCloud. Well, leave us a review on iTunes then. Yeah, you can like it on SoundCloud and you can follow us. I think you can comment. Can you? Can you? I'm not I think sure. You can. If you can, then do that. But please follow us and give it a like, and then that way you'll get it every time we do one. Um, and as well as that, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. We are skit under slash twins or underscore twins. Thank you. Um, that's S K I T underscore T W I N S. And we're also skit twins on YouTube. But all, if you follow us on Twitter, then you'll get like all the links to everything there yeah and we're skit twins on facebook as well so give us a like there um generally we have twitter and facebook sort of linked so if you're following one you're general you're generally going to get the same posts or similar posts um but on twitter sometimes i do twitter and chloe does facebook so you'll get different stuff like i'll twitter is generally where we do polls and things like that sort of what kind of things do you want to see um i think twitter we would probably tend to look at more often yeah like no, I in my opinion, no one really goes on Facebook apart from like parents. And like the only time I really go on Facebook is either if I'm bored and I just scroll through, like, videos, stupid memes, yeah, and memes. Like I would, I I don't go on like, and I I share things. I have everything on just like private, so it's yeah. like only sharing to me. So yeah, except that's I did it off. I did it off private yesterday for Mummy and Daddy's anniversary post, and then I was shared stuff last night, and I suddenly realised oh, this is going to friends too, and I had to go through and like go private only me, only me, only me, <laughs> to like five. Because like, if it's bad stuff, I just like I just hate people who like share like a million things. Yes, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, I don't want everyone to be spammed like, with my name. I across. want to, I want to see this like video of a dog like sixty times, but I don't think everybody else does. Yeah, but. Yeah, keep an eye on Twitter and tweet us and there's lots of questions that we asked so please answer those and yeah. let us know whenever you're listening. Please let us know where you're listening to and we can maybe, if you're at the gym, if you say you're at the gym, we can give you a personal shout out to make you like work harder. Yeah. Like, whether you're lifting weights or on the treadmill or whatever. We can... It's like we said, we just kind of need validation. <laughs> like, is it worth us doing this? Like, we love doing it, but whether or not people enjoy listening to it. Yeah. So, like, and let us know what you want to hear. Yeah. Or like, tweet yeah. us and be like, guys, you've talked about banknotes for the fat past <laughs> three episodes. God, would you just leave it? Or, guys, that was so rambly. Please never do that again. Do you just stop using the word like? Sorry. <laughs> I... <laughs> right, okay. If you want to listen to the podcast again, please tweet me and tell me how many times I have said like. In every just episode. an estimate, because I don't think we're going to go through and listen to it and yeah, just count them I all. Just, just I say 20. You, I won't prove you wrong. I mean, if you've made it this far, if you could tweet us with, what's a random word? Bubbles. Bubbles. Yeah. Bubbles, and then, if you can, an angry face emoji. Why? Because you can't say bubbles in an angry voice. Bubbles. 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 It just sounds weird. Um, But yeah, thank you very much for listening. Uh, We will see you, hopefully, in... Two weeks time? Well, we say see. Judith, I was trying to end at one hour exactly, and now we're in one hour five. Sorry. Go for eleven. One, 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 one. No, we we try. We'll go for one one hour, one minute then. We can try and eke it out for another 45 (laughs) seconds. Make it with fart. (laughs) (laughs) This definitely is going to be called fart and run. (laughs) So is it. But yeah, please, um, I'm just going to keep repeating this. Just tweet us. Tweet us right now. Tweet bubbles. Whatever you're doing now, just stop. And unless you're driving, well, I suppose pull over and you know, tweet us. Just well, bubbles. Well, use like um your voice control. voice control thing and just, just tweet. Tell bubbles. your phone to tweet us bubbles. Skit twins. Tweet skit twins. Alexa, tweet skit twins. Follow skit twins on SoundCloud and subscribe on youtube i don't know is that how alexa works does she do that anyway bye 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 bye